I'm kind of styling my hair a little bit differently at the moment. I'm going to grow it again. Blonder. I'm going to grow something. How has it been? Um, it's been good actually. The yeah. colour from last time didn't fade like in the way that you were saying with the toning. Yes. So I've been trying to avoid purple shampoo and using like a little bit of blonder shampoo if I need okay. it. I'm kind of styling my hair a little bit differently at the moment. I'm kind of pushing a lot of my, when I'm styling it, I'm styling it with this parting. Okay. And then I'm pushing a lot of my hair over. Okay. So in terms of fringe, I don't know if I want to go short on my side bangs, okay. just maybe a trim. Do you want the same shape. kind of shape cut in because it works for both work? Yeah. It's just not as short. Yeah, that's okay. So it still kind of like frames the face yeah. on maybe like here. Okay. And then, but then I still, I guess I still have the option even when it's short now just to kind of push it over if I need to. Like lengthwise. Are you going like, to grow it again? No, no. <laughs> I feel like I like it shorter. Okay. I do. So, I mean, at the moment, would you say it's on my shoulders? Or? Do you wear it straight? Not at all, really. Okay. So by the time it bounces out, like. Yeah, and yeah. then last time we did it. We did quite a lot last yeah. time. I can't believe how much it's grown. I it's got so long. <laughs> so long. Yeah. But it was like here, I think. It was like, like it was on my neck. Bob. Yeah, proper bob. Mm -hmm. I feel like the same. Yeah. Like maybe, yeah, just taking off like what's grown. So okay. I don't know whether like that or would you so say more? In four months, like it might not feel like it, but in four months on average, hair will probably grow about that much. So okay. I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but if yeah. I pull that down to here, yeah. by the time that bounces up, it yeah. will probably be hovering above your shoulders. Okay. Is that enough or do you feel like you want to go that little bit more? I feel like that's enough potentially, only okay. because when, last time when I was doing the back, I was like struggling then to yeah. style the back for that first, I think it's like the first two weeks, I yeah. was a bit like, how do I do that? So okay. maybe we cut that and we see if we should do more. Okay. Do you still like it being one length or do you... Are you, because last time you did it slightly longer at the front yeah, finger, just like. ever so slightly so it had that square kind of finish to it which I loved when it was short obviously when it grew, grew out I mean it just needs more cutting doesn't it yeah. yeah I feel like it goes longer at the yeah. front maybe but yeah I feel like that worked I know obviously last time we were trying to sort of get rid of all the layering so that it felt like one length yeah but do you think because you've got a lot of hair it would be helpful to have a little bit of mm -hmm. layering around the back just yeah. to take the, a little bit of weight out of the edges so it doesn't so it, feel, so that you don't feel like you're not as heavy, like you're heavier around the back than the front. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It might just give you a little bit of balance. Yeah. And I'm talking minimal, not so okay. that you can see that you've got loads of layers, mm -hmm. but like an inch from the bottom just yeah. to kind of like soften it a little bit. Yeah. Do you think it's worth if trying think so, yeah. I'm doing the hair uh, colour. Um, blonder, I think. <laughs> and we didn't tone the ends, so we toned no. the top the yeah. root area but we yeah. didn't tone the ends we did that because you felt like you kept kind of going yellow or duller over time yeah. and i suggested so we did some blonde tipping last time yeah, yeah yeah and the reason for that was to try and lift some of those bits past that yellow stage mm -hmm. so that you don't rely on a toner mm -hmm. to kind of get rid of yellow that actually you're just blonder in general okay so toners are great they yeah. definitely make your hair cooler but sometimes they can make it feel darker because okay. they counteract the, the warmth yeah and darker colors are always uh cooler colors are always darker okay yeah than the warmer equivalent yeah so we kind of went okay let's almost do like the naked the, version of blonde yeah and not tone yeah this time we i kind of feel the same but okay. actually just maybe putting some more blonde in there nice yeah, yeah. Of, like probably the last month i'm noticing it's a bit darker and when i wear my hair slip back you notice quite a lot that i look a lot kind of dark when so I'm doing got that. got a bit more of a shadow. Like yeah. You kind of, do you like to feel bright from the root? Yeah. Yeah? I think so. Without it being that too much of it growing out. Okay. I guess too harsh, I guess, when it's growing out, which I don't, I don't know if you think it's better just to light it, lighten it all, and then that will just be like a slight like darker root as it like grows tap out. It down yeah, I don't mind at all. We can do that. Okay. I think the most important thing about regrowth is sometimes the application of it. Okay. It's that contrast and the application. So okay. because you're fair anyway, I think you can be pretty blonde and your yeah. roots big grow out quite nicely. Yeah. But the most important thing is the highlights that go in are nice and fine yeah. and grow out seamlessly. So um which we do anyway. So I think that will be not a problem. Um, we're going to do a treatment anyway today, aren't we? Yeah. We're going to do the acidic bonding. Um, there's also a five minute mask that I'm going to use, which oh, will be. I've been using it this last week and it's so nice. It makes oh, your hair so shiny. Um, it's my new face. Okay, amazing. Okay, yeah. I think this is good. I think okay. it's really good. I think it is just a case of 
you know, taking the colour through where we can, mm -hmm. um, making yeah. sure we're not overlapping on anywhere that doesn't need lifting any more than it already. Okay. Um, will you, I'll use something more gentle through the ends though, just so that like we keep an eye on the condition and not mm -hmm. make our hair suffer. Okay. 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 <laughs> Still want hair there. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Amazing. All right. Thank you. Up. Amazing. I'll see you Thank you so much.